So another super important day today for the Moyes Motorcars team and the Customs for Cancer Camaro. A little while back we featured a 67 factory Chevy Camaro on our torsion jig and we took you guys through the procedure of a torsional test and a beaming test. Uh, that was to establish a baseline. Now the good news is the Customs for Cancer Camaro is finished, we're almost finished. It's on our jig. Pete the engineer is on his way here now. He's got the baseline we generated from the first factory car. We can make a comparison today on what we achieve here. Uh, and I'm sure we're going to see that this Roadster Shop chassis comes out well on top. What we're doing here is measuring a baseline before we apply any force to the vehicle. So I'm just going to read off all these dial gauges and note them. Um, then we'll apply the load. I'll reread them and we'll be able to measure how much twist we're getting. And then compare that to what we got with the unmodified vehicle. So we're about to apply the torque to the chassis by applying a known load, so this jack is sitting on a scale. Uh, we know how far that is from the pivot centre, so we'll be able to work out the torque. Um, we're going to load it to the same load we did with the, the unmodified car, which is uh, 760 pounds at two metres. Please forgive the mixture of units there. We have been consistent. I'm really interested to see what happens. That we've got these very hard, high gyrometer rubber body mounts between the chassis and the body. So as the torque comes on, the chassis will take load and it'll gradually compress this slightly uh, and then start applying some load to the body. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see how that, that comes up in the results. Okay, let's wind some load on. Am I supposed to be nervous, Pete? <laughs> I think that'll help if you are. Look, I really need the sum of the two movements, but I've seen a lot more twist in vehicles before, let's put it that way. So we've just finished the torsion test. Um, we're now going to do what's called the beaming test. So it simulates the car being a beam. We just put a load in equivalent to the passengers that'll sit in there and make sure that the deflection we get across the length of the car is uniform. It doesn't all happen in one place. And that just shows the chassis is well designed. I don't know if I'm up to this. I'm old. Oh, jeez, two? I don't know about that. Seventy-two. Yep, good. Ninety-eight. Yeah. So that's very little deflection, but it's the right shape. So we're a little bit at the edge, down to a, a bit more in the centre, and then back out. Point four. Yeah, that one's on point two. And we're two metres off there. We're going to check that. So look, that result is outstanding. Um, I've obviously got to do some calculations to do it, show it in greater detail, but all the numbers make a lot of sense and uh, very little deflection, very little twist. It's, uh, it's a very rigid package. Testing's finished and the results are in, and as expected, this Roach the Shop chassis has performed awesome. Next stop is the racetrack where we undergo some brake testing, uh, lane change maneuverability, and let's really put this Camaro through its paces.